Karen Jones here, point of view, point of me.com. Beautiful day it is. Feels like spring, or rather the beginning of fall. So today I wanted to talk about life choices. You know, when I was younger, I made the choice that I wanted to, I wanted to be a model because I wanted to make a lot of money, as the young do. And um, I basically started singing because I could sing, and I had always sung, and it was something that I could do, and I needed to make money to live. And so I started singing. And on that path of singing, I veered left and right on many different pathways. I, I started singing pop music and dance music, and then I did a little bit of jazz here and there because it didn't pay as much money as the pop and the dance music. And then I started to write lyrics. And you know, your path, when you choose a path, it seems to be the most opportune path in that moment. Obviously, choosing what's easy for you is a great idea because it's easy and, it, and you can make money pretty quickly. However, you know, um, life is a funny thing. There are so many things that you're asking for, but you have, to be a, you have to be willing to have an open mind and receive what the universe or God or Buddha or, who, or whoever you, you believe in, or whatever you believe in, if you don't believe in anything, believe in the question, asking the question, what is it that really is going to fulfill you and make you happy? And singing definitely makes me happy, and it's made me happy for many years, and, and, it's, and it continues to make me happy. And I've discovered so many different parts of myself in my journey with so many different kinds of music, so many different kinds of experiences, experimental, I'm very good with improvisation. And so I find myself here today talking to you as I have entered into the whole blogging world and talking to you about a whole other side of myself that loves um, self-development, uh, self-improvement, um, always getting better, always um, seeking to know more and to, and, to, and, and to be in communion better, more and more with, with this, this planet and, and even these people. I say that with, with uh, a little bit of irony, I guess. People are a little more difficult at times, not always. Obviously, you're always attracted to those who are more like you. But um, because I sing in front of so many different audiences, I connect to all my audiences, even when it seems they're not paying attention. And um, I, I'm talking about this blogging thing because, you know, something else just popped up into my life that I was not expecting. And if you're willing to receive the information from the universe um, or just the, the, the response to your question, there are many responses, many possibilities, and there's going to be one that's going to stand out more than others, like an idea that keeps running around in your head. There is a, a lightness of being, a, uh, an attraction, an, an, an energy that, is, that, that makes you light up, that makes you excited, that, that's like, wow, this, this feels good. Now, this path may even take me to another path. But I think over the years, I've started to understand that um, nothing is in concrete. There is no black and It's not black or white. It's a choice, and choices lead to greater awareness. And as you become more and more aware, you'll discover more and more of what works for you and what makes you happy. And, you know, and what is it that you'd like to see as your life? I come back to that all the time. It is your point of view. It is your, it is where you stand. It is where you look at the world. That's why I call this point of you, even though it is a play on words, your point of view and how you see things and how you, that's how you show up into the world. What what change would you like to see? You got to be it, right? That's what I put on my on my Facebook page today. Be the change you wish to see in the world, and that's what it's all about. Remember to have an open mind. The pathways are many, and there's one. There's there are certain paths that, in your blueprint of you, are going to be the most expansive, the most uh, beautiful, the most uh, breathtaking for you. So honor your honor that that gut that sense. Yes? Okay. Karen Jones, point of view, point of me.com. Carpe diem. Have a great day.